the Austrians to take two medals in this weight category. They can take both of the bronze medals after Wurzacher having won already. It's up to Drexler now. an Aggie effort that Drexler felt just managed to move to her right and avoid getting caught up in that now chance to free the leg oh that was great work from Yang really was she had a great degree of flexibility and able to get herself out of that and Drexler just got the lower part of the the leg just only the foot She's managed to trap it this time a little bit higher up. And Yang's going to find it difficult to get out of that. Okay. Well, the referee had to call Mate eventually. done. First minute and a half out of the way. No score yet. Yang with the heavily bandaged right hand, his fingers and the wrist. Actually something causing us some problems. Stood up nice and tall for that Eponse Onagi effort, but Drexler couldn't react quick enough to come up with a counter and there's a possibility for a turnover again Yang Junxia showing her prowess on the ground as she manages to trap Drexler there couldn't keep the Osai Komi long enough and then when she lost the Asai Komi, couldn't apply the Kansetsu Waza. So again, no harm done. Minute 40 odd left to go. No score yet. Oh, Drexler picked up a penalty for passivity there. A bit harsh, because it's a nice looking contest, but if that's the rule and they felt that Drexler wasn't attacking, then penalty it is and a second penalty to Drexler for passivity it must have been right on the 22nd mark because it didn't seem that long ago that Drexler picked up the first. Osaikomi was always on the cards. They'd been down there, the pair of them, on a few occasions. And on most of those occasions, it'd been Yang Junxia who'd been the aggressor and the more likely to come up. There's a fifth place finish for Hilda Drexler, but a bronze medal goes to China's Yang Junxia.